Hello and welcome to another episode of Freaky Fettuccini. On tonight's episode, I don't know, those little yellow bastards freak me out even, even without being in a creepypasta. But this is Despicable Me 2, Lost Scene. I was out on a walk one afternoon. I was going down to my local pharmacy to read some magazines and maybe buy a snack. Yet on my way there, I noticed a garage sale. I don't normally care about things like that, yet I figured I could spare a minute or two and look around. Who knows? Maybe find something cool. As fate would have it, I did. I noticed an old Despicable Me 2 DVD. The case was rather old and worn. Some of the characters' faces seemed to have been ripped off. Probably from some little kid or something. I used to love those things as a kid. I especially loved Gru and his faithful minions. Plus, it said it had a special lost scene. Lost scene, I thought. Never heard anything about one of those. Yet when I asked to buy it, the owner said, You don't want that DVD, dude. That's why I have it up for sale. Why not? I asked. That lost scene is... He stopped talking as if in a trance, haunted by some horrible nightmare. I didn't really care. I mean, if it's bad, so be it. I still got plenty of other episodes to watch on it. E episodes? Despicable Me 2 is a movie! Actually, hold on, let me let me look up how old Despicable Me 2 it is, because he watched it when he was a kid, so... Da -da 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 -da. That came out in 2013, so maybe he was a kid and now is a fully grown man, capable of buying his own used DVDs now, but, uh... Oh, man, oh, no. Oh, that just made me feel old. I still got plenty of other episodes to watch on it. In the end, I bought from the guy anyway. He shook his head and frowned as I left. Jeez, I said to myself, how bad can it really be? Later that night, I decided to watch the DVD. The rest of my family had gone to bed already. My bro and sis had to go to school early tomorrow. My mom had a tough day at work and basically crashed on her bed when she got home. And my dad goes to work at 5 a.m. So it was just me, myself, and I watching some good old Despicable Me 2. I put it in the player, and soon enough the main screen came up with all the options. Look cute enough. I simply pressed play, and it started. The lost scene started with a text saying, Dave gets in trouble in a black background. Wait, if you're looking for the lost scene, wouldn't that normally be in the special features of the DVD? And also, I guess you're still a kid, but also not a kid, and I'm, I don't, I don't know what the living situation is, maybe you're an adult son. I don't know why I'm hung up on this of all things in Despicable Me 2 lost scene, the spookiest pasta of our time. Anyway, it then got to Gru getting angry at Dave for messing something up in the living room. Dave, look what you have done to my living room, Gru shouts. Dave then looks guilty and starts crying. We change the tense because Despicable Me 2 has given us the power to travel in time. That's how I'm not a kid anymore. The crying didn't sound like cartoon crying. It was realistic crying in pain. Dave then runs away. Yeah, Dave, just go, and leave everything messed up and horrible, Gru screams at the top of his lungs. Dave comes back and kicks Gru in the leg. Gru shouts and jumps on the one leg that hasn't been kicked. Dave, you will pay, Gru shouts. Dave then imitates Gru and kicks him in the leg again, this time his good leg. Ow, Gru shouts. Dave, you're in deep trouble, Gru says in a new paragraph. Dave then walks away, leaving Gru there. Gru then looks as if he's about to explode. Dave, come back here, Gru shouts. Dave comes back holding a futuristic gun and aims it at Gru. No, no, Dave, don't shoot that gun. Dave doesn't care. He sets the freeze button to destroy and aims it at Gru once again. No, please, no, Dave. Dave doesn't even care. He blasts the gun at Gru's feet. Gru jumps back in the air and lands on his butt. He climbs to his feet 
and lose at Dave with a look that would kill. Dave aims the gun between Gru's eyes and fires. Gru jumps back and dodges the beam. It bounces off the wall and hits the ground. Dave blasts it at Gru but misses. He keeps on trying to blast Gru but keeps missing. Dave gets very angry and blasts it at Gru once again. This time, it doesn't miss. Why? I don't know, it just doesn't. It hits Gru, and Gru screams and explode. Dave and the other minions are splattered with his blood, and the camera fades to red. There are bold white words saying, THE END, before cutting to the minions sobbing and crying all around Gru. S exploded remains, I would assume is the missing words here. There's not a lot left after someone explodes, thanks to a destroy ray. Lucy and the girls come and cry too. Again, it was not cartoon cry. It was realistic crying in pain. I ejected the DVD and threw it in the trash. The next day, Saturday, I think I woke up at 11.56 a.m. I turned on my computer and went to Google to look up information about Dave Gets in Trouble. No results. I went to my Yahoo Mail and contacted Illumination Entertainment about this. Here's the reply. Where did you find this deleted scene? We are sorry that your dreams have been crushed. One day there was a guy named Drew. He was hired in 2009, but got fired in 2012 for making these kinds of scenes from our movies. We're sorry for making you scared, and we will send you great stuff. I gave them my address, and 45 minutes later, they just sent me Despicable Me books, plushies, DVDs, and coloring books, plus crayon- What? <laughs> um, there was one more gift, a special one. It was in a cake package. It was a we're sorry cake. I guess they felt really sorry for me being very scared. Wow, the Illumination Entertainment staff is very nice. I ate the cake anyways. I also gave the coloring book and crayons to my brother. I kept the other stuff. If you see a Despicable Me 2 DVD that has the lost scene on it, DESTROY IT! I would like to point out, this was categorized under pages with grammar that doesn't suck, and I guess compared to the others, yeah. But at the same time, he climbs to his feet and lose at Dave with a look that would kill. Ah, uh, wow. But I'm just glad Illumination Entertainment is so nice that they can send you this within 45 minutes! The Illumination staff has agents everywhere ready to apologize for Drew.